and the family. Let me share to you guys um, some wisdom God bestowed upon me one night before I began to pray. You see, every night before I begin to pray, I make sure I plug my phone up to make sure I have enough power throughout the day, you know, and just in case, you know, I put myself in a position that I didn't foresee. Uh, I got to make sure I have enough power on my phone so, you know, I won't miss the call. So I won't, uh, you know, so I can be able to communicate. So I can be able to, you know, be a part of the world because, you know, once you detach from the world, you don't have a phone, you detach from the world. You can't, you know, you know, for security purposes, you know, family or whatever the case may be, you don't know what's going on. So, I, you know, you make sure you have enough power on your phone, especially so you won't miss no call. And God gave me the wisdom as I was plugging my phone up before I began to pray that he would like my prayer life to be this way. And you guys can take this ideal wisdom too and uh, apply it to your life God won't be mad I mean except the part when you pray repetitiously that's not biblical but he would love for us to tap in whenever we need power whenever we need strength whenever we're in, we put ourselves in a situation that we can't foresee like I don't know what's going on I don't know what I, what's about to happen but I want to make sure you know that no matter what I need you. I need your power. I got to have power. So that's whether before I leave out the house, just ask my just ask my phone. I got to make sure I have power. I'm plugged into the source. I have enough strength to carry me throughout my day. Even during my day. I, you know, I used to carry around portable chargers. Or I have a phone charger in my car to plug into a power source to make sure my phone has enough power. God would like our prayer life to be the same way. Well, mine. I'm not going to put this on you guys. You guys probably have an excellent prayer life. But just keep in mind, throughout our day, before we head on our journey, even when we're feeling low, God wants us to tap in check in with him so he can fill us so we won't miss the call and that's it guys I just want to share that with you you know what I'm saying I hope it encouraged you throughout your walk with God I hope it was a little piece of wisdom that you guys can use with your walk but nevertheless stay encouraged keep Jesus and God first you need no man in order to hear from God. Peace.